Hi and welcome to Flinders University. I'm Professor Paul Ward, I'm the head of the discipline of public health. Well, the term public health means so many things to so many people. The World Health Organization define it as the art and science of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through the organised efforts of society. In public health we use the analogy of a stream. In terms of health and medicine, the majority of government funding in um, high income countries goes to when people have got an illness, money goes to try and prolong their life a little bit. That's downstream, that's towards the end of the estuary when the, when the river goes out to the sea. If we look upstream, the things that have happened before that, public health is up there. Public health is not down the end of the river, it's up the beginning of the river. And if we can start to look at the things that are going into the river, then we can try to prevent bad things happening downstream. Previous Students, both domestic and international students, have gone into, into a variety of um, realms of public health, some into academic, so a, a couple of ex-students are now professors of public health and deans of public health at universities in Indonesia and Fiji. There's a particular student who came through our programme who's now running the COVID-19 program for Centers for Disease Control in the state. Professor Nicholas Spurrier, who's the Chief Public Health Officer for South Australia and has done quite an outstanding job. We have had and continue to have lots of global exchange opportunities in Europe, in North America, in lots of different countries in Sub-Saharan Africa in South and Southeast Asia, and then through Indonesia, Vietnam, etc. We'll facilitate the, um, the exchange, we'll facilitate the co-supervision. So all sorts of opportunities to do phenomenally important research, phenomenally important training to give back to the populations that need it the most. The MPH at Flinders is a generally a two-year degree, two-year full-time equivalent degree. It's offered um, online and it's also offered face-to-face. -face. Some students don't necessarily want to jump in straight to a master's degree. So we have kind of um, stepping stones into the MPH. So students can enrol in a postgraduate certificate, which is the equivalent of a semester. Having the, the acronym MPH after your name is kind of an, an internationally recognised badge of honour. It's the kind of qualification that are required for jobs at the World Health Organization, for jobs at some multinational non-governmental organizations. It's kind of this badge that people wear if they're really interested in career progression. Within the, the MPH, there are kind of two main pathways. One is a pure coursework, do a bunch of courses and then you can graduate. A second option for, for students who are really interested in research is doing all the core courses on epidemiology and health promotion and things like that, but then taking a focus on research training, so focusing on biostatistics and or qualitative research and or evaluation methods, and then doing an independent piece of research, like a, like a small PhD. You are supervised as if you were doing a PhD, so you get academic supervisors. It's the equivalent of a full-time semester. Lots of our MPH students who, do, who take this track will get published in really good peer-reviewed international journals with a certain um, mark in their dissertation, they can get direct entry into reading for a PhD. So there's a, there's a pathway into PhD for some students that want that. So the MPH at Flinders University meets the Australasian Faculty of Public Health Medicine criteria and curriculum. It also aligns with the Council of Academic Public Health Institutions of Australia called CAFIA. So we cover all the curricula one would expect to require of job ready public health professionals. We also rank in the top public health institutions globally. The people who are teaching the courses on the Master in Public Health are world renowned researchers and our teaching is focused on our research. We're not just telling students to go and read chapter six in a particular book that we didn't write. What we're doing is we're focusing our teaching on our research, on our real world research. So there are public health opportunities 
career opportunities in, in Australia in three levels of government. But then we have charities and we have foundations, so obviously things like Cancer Council, Heart Foundation, Diabetes Australia, Diabetes South Australia. So, you know, we have all of those opportunities, screening programs, screening for cancers and things like that. Whether that be around advocacy work, which is, you know, working with communities to try and make things better, whether that be at policy levels within organisations and trying to work out how do we best implement policy and practice to change the social fabric for populations. Thanks for visiting Flinders University. I look forward to welcoming you on campus soon. Mm -hmm.